there's a big question hanging over development and economics more generally is how important is management for helping firms grow? We wanted to do, answer that by doing what's called a, ra a randomized control trial. So it's much like a drugs trial. You want to test a drug. You have a treatment group of patients that are randomly picked a placebo and you give these guys the drugs. So we did exactly the same with management. We got a sample of firms that agreed to take part. We randomly gave half of them a management intervention and the others. And the, the question was, how did they perform? The, the guys we gave the management intervention for, these firms, turned out in the original study to perform dramatically better. So employment went up, profits went up, productivity went up, wages went up. So the question we wanted to answer now is going back eight years later, had the firms that originally we helped and had improved, had they maybe collapsed back uh, or had instead they've gone even better, they, they've expanded dramatically and taken over the market. And so we went back to follow both sets of firms and what we found in 2017 was first is management interventions last. These original firms had still performing incredibly well, so the management interventions was successful initially, but importantly, this stuck eight years later. And you know, in business, eight years is forever, so these management interventions are both impactful but also long-lasting. The second is uh, these interventions spilled over across different parts of the firm. So to explain it, these firms typically had multiple plants. They may have had a plant in the north of town, the west of town, and the south of town. And we only actually initially helped one of the plants. When we came back eight years later, we found all of them had improved. The third finding was that managers matter a lot. So we helped these firms out, but what turned out to be critical for their success lasting for 10 years out is them keeping their senior managers and directors. So much like a football team, you think of Manchester United and keeping Alex Ferguson, or you know, Barcelona keeping Pepe Guardiola, it's really critical that not only the organization performs, but the person at the top. And we found that so 10 years later, firms with the same managers that were there back in 2008 continue to be really successful. The firms that have lost their key plant managers tended to fall back. The big policy takeaway is helping large firms improve their management practices is extremely effective and extremely cost effective. So there are two reasons for this. The first is large firms uh, need good management practices in particular because they're big, they're complicated, they have multiple sites, they operate 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So for large firms, it's impossible to manage them in a chaotic way. Therefore, you really need systematic management practices. The second finding is large firms tend to spread practices around internally. So if as a policymaker, you come and help one part of it, you get a kind of extra free dividend, you know, a double bang for your buck because the practice is spread out across the rest of the company. If a small firm, you help one bit of it, that's it. With a large firm, you help that bit of it, but you get additional growth from all the rest of the company copying the practices. Improving management practices, particularly in large firms, is a very effective way to unleash growth, unleash higher wages, and ultimately unleash powerful development.